Mm, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, jeez. Lost stand. Wow. Oh, man. Ah, oh, no, no. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dream Hangers. And this week, I have some really fun Dream Hangers set up for you guys. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, the first comment we have up on the screen is coming from Chicken Dude. And uh, he is calling this the Avengers Dream Hanger. So, we have uh, Captain America, Thor, Black Widow, Hulk, Hawkeye, Iron Man. Um, in terms of robots, Lancelot, uh, Inquisitor, Arachnid, Invader. Uh, let's see, we have the Fenrir, Hawk, and also the Alming. So as you can see my hanger, we do have the Lancelot here with the Freedom Avalanche and Igniters. Uh, we have Balance Unit, Last Stand, Advanced Repair. Uh, here are the pilot skills for that. And uh, moving on, we have the Inquisitor. So we have uh, Zeus and Scourge on here. And uh, there we go. I had to make sure, you know, I had Guidance Operator as well. So really a fun lineup here. Uh, not sure about this invader though. We have Cryo and Rhyme on here. So the thing with the invader is typically you jump in to attack. Now, if I was to jump into a group of like three players, I will hit the first player. There's one problem. I'm going to run out of rockets. Jeez, I'm just looking at this uh, Rhyme here. <laughs> it's floating. Actually, you know what? I noticed that with the uh, shell as well. And uh, there we have the Fenrir here. I chose the cryptic one because it's a bit green, just like the Hulk. Uh, we have Ember and Igniters on here. Uh, overdrive units, and here are the pilot skills for this. And then next up, we have uh, the Hawk with the Gauss and Vault. So sniper build here. Uh, no last stand on this one. I didn't use overdrive because, um, you know, with this, at least... If I use thermo nukes, I will be able to take advantage of, uh, you know, these modules straight away. And uh, this is kind of funny, actually. I was going through this hangar, and everything looked fine until I got to the Ao Ming. And, well, look at the weapons. So we have Cataclysm, Shaddam, um, Rupture, and Squall. Actually, the uh, comment said, um, one saw, one Cataclysm, Shaddam, and a Squall. So we have actually three uh, alpha weapon, so I had to uh, change things up. I decided to go with Jadam and Cataclysm because they have the same uh, range. And then instead of the Saw, use the Rupture and the Squall. Really, really odd uh, setup here. And uh, here are the modules for that. Okay, so this is going to be my hanger for the first game. Uh, but before we get rolling, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and also make sure to check out the other episodes of this Dream Hanger series, this is episode 79. So we have uh, done quite a few of these episodes. And having said that, let's hop into game number one. And I'm going to try to get this guy here. Let's try to see if we can take... Oh, man, he went into a phase shift. You know what? We can still get him. Let's try to take this guy out. Yes, first kill. Oh, wait, we have uh, someone here. Let's try to help with this guy. And no. Oh, jeez, he's doing a lot of damage to me. But you know what? We did get him down to his uh, his last stand here. I'm trying to see if I can maybe take him out. Oh, so close. Yes. I got locked. I can't move. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. What the hell? You guys see that? I tried to jump <laughs> and I got stuck. Well, um, hmm. No, can't shoot him. Oh, shoot. Oh, I tried to heal. So, I'm thinking, let's use, let's use the invader. I might as well try to use this to push uh, the center beacon now while I still can. There's this guy up to. So, this invader build that I'm running right now, uh, if you're thinking of like running this kind of build, definitely don't run it. It's probably one of the worst builds you can run on the invader. So I need to, I need to get within like 300 meters here. trying to hit this guy so you see how i've fired all my rockets at him i'm only firing like one rocket from each weapon now so i'm gonna rely heavily on my uh, teammates uh, to help me out here <laughs> i'm getting locked i can't even jump see look look how much damage i'm doing to the guy hardly any damage whatsoever I'm gonna do that to suppress him uh i got locked um can we hit this guy at least 
I was saving up my rockets for that guy. Wait a minute. Is this guy still here? I think I'm on his head. Yes! I think, so all the damage that I'm actually doing with this invader is actually me just healing up the invader itself. So if that's your thing, um, then I guess it works. But just make sure that if you do that, you're going to need a ton of power cells. So I'm just trying to heal up here. I can't really do anything with this build. I'm just trying to hold it down for as long as possible. And there we go. Okay, so that's out of my hangar. Let's use... I'm thinking let's use the... Hmm. We're going to go with the Hawk because this at least has 800 meter range. Let's hit this guy. Actually, wait, what the heck is going on over here? And if I can hit him. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Nice. Hmm. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, jeez. Last stand. Wow. Oh, man. Ah, no, no. Gotta get him. Oh, jeez. That uh, Typhon hit me pretty bad back there. Wonder if I can get close enough to get this guy. No. Yeah, they have a Typhon back there. So Typhon has that uh, 500 meter range. I have to keep out of that range. We still need to get the center here. Uh, wait. Hold on a second. Let's get this guy. Last stand triggered. We need to knock that uh, Typhon's shield down there because I can't snipe him. Uh, with that. Oh, wait. I can get this guy maybe. Yes. Whoa. Last stand on that player. I think I broke his shield. Yeah, this uh, that Typhon. We have to be careful of that guy. You know, once he locks me down. Let's snipe him. And we're going to hit this guy here as well. Hold on, I'm just waiting for the heal. So we got him down to his last stand. I'm going to go into a flight here because we can't give up our beacons like this. So I'm going to go after this uh, player. Um, oh. Wait, did I hit? Oh, shoot. Oh, come on, are you serious? Let's get that guy. I'm gonna have to uh, heal up here, and then I'm gonna hit this guy with that, and again. You know what? I think I should actually get out of this uh, bot here. We need to... Uh... Oh, man! Just as I fired, <laughs> he went into a... Uh... Oh, no, 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 Ah, shoot. I need to go to flight. Quick. We almost actually got that Typhon. There we go. Yes. Okay, I need to... I need to sacrifice this now. We're gonna bust through this guy's shield. Oh, man. Someone just suppressed me. Okay, let's use the Lancelot. I'm trying to run through all the bots in my hangar. Kind of got stuck with the Lancelot. Actually, you know what? This Lancelot feels like it has a bug because I struggled to walk there that was weird look at this so I can't walk it's going slowly and now it's kind of speeding up <laughs> yeah that that really needs to be fixed I'm gonna get this guy here I'm gonna move into a saint to see if I can perhaps get that beacon maybe someone on that side I'm trying to heal that can we get this player? Um, almost. Yeah, my Lancelot's gonna get smoked here. Oh, jeez. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do the Ao Ming because they all have their Titans out, so I might as well. This build is really bad. 
You know what? I ran I ran a game. And this build is is it's terrible. So I'm gonna try to fire at this guy. The only weapons I'm really hitting him with is the Cataclysm and the uh Jadam weapons. Um can we even hit this guy? Yeah, I need I need to heal up here. Oh shoot, he's gonna kill me, man. Heal! Yep, that that's my Ming. I think if I had a choice, I would have run two Cataclysm or something on there. Um, at least that way I have that 600 meter range. So I'm going to drop in with my final bot, the uh, Fenrir. And um, we're going to try to get the center. I don't know how we're going to do with this. We need, like, we need some serious beacons here quick. I hope those Mings don't start shooting at me. Uh-oh. Must get to center quick. Shoot. Heal. Trying to get this guy. It's actually doing a decent uh, job here at uh, trying to bring down this uh, Minos. I'm going to need to heal here soon. Actually, you know, when I start to heal, have that heal. I should be doing more damage now. Although, if he has his shield up, he's gonna smoke me. So I'm trying to uh, stay alive here. And he has help. Can we take him out? Uh, maybe. Oh, shoot, I'm gonna die. Oh, man! No! Oh, no! No, no! Oh, man! I was hoping I could heal up, so I don't think we're gonna end up winning this. Um, we have 50 seconds. My team needs to push. So, I think a pretty decent uh, game. One thing I would definitely change in this kind of hangar is definitely that Ao Ming because that Ao Ming didn't really do that much. And you have to keep in mind, that's a maxed out Ao Ming. So we ended up doing 4.3 million damage, 10 kills, one beacon in that game. And in terms of the honor points, here are the honor points for that game. And uh, now we're going to take a look at the next dream hangar here coming from... I want to say Baka. I think that's how you pronounce your name. And uh, Baka is asking me to uh, run this hangar. He is building towards it. Uh, he has the Hawk. He has the Hades. Uh, Blitz. Demeter. And it looks like he has a combination of Aljung, Typhon, Ravana, Scorpion. I guess I have to pick one of those. So I'm going to go ahead, um, build this hangar up, and then show you guys what I decided on uh, in terms of this hangar and what changes I would make uh, in order to make this ready for um, high-level Champion League gameplay. Okay, so this is pretty much what I decided on in terms of this hangar. So we have the Hawk with a Glacier, Rhyme, and Iku. Um, I put the Iku shield on the left side. I know you said right side, um, but my thinking is um, it's kind of like holding a sword and a shield uh, in real life. If you're right-handed, you're more likely to hold your a sword on the right side and your shield on the left. So uh, that's my explanation as to why I put it on the left side. Uh, we have death mark here and uh, here are the pilot skills. So I made sure to include knight errant to help with the uh, strengthening of the uh, EQ shield. And next up we have the Hades with Nucleon and Quarkers. Uh, there's the modules and the pilot skills. And uh, we do have this legendary pilot as well. And we also have the blitz with blaze. There we go. And uh, next up, um, let's see. We decided on... Oh, we have the Demeter here with the Fatal Havox. Three cloaking units. And here are the skills for this. And the last one, I decided to use the Typhon with Ignitus because we have a lot of shells out there. And I think this really helps uh, with uh, dealing with those uh, shells. So we have that. We have Fortify's Last Stand, Advanced Repair. Uh, the legendary pilot here for the Typhon. And uh, next up we have the Nodens. So I noticed you had for the Nodens Squall and three antimatter reactors. So you can't actually put three antimatter reactors um, you know, on the Nodens. If you take a look at um, you know, how it's set up here, you have defense. So you have two defense, which means you have to put uh, plated armor or I guess self-fix would be the other one. Yeah, self-fix. Um, I'm going to go with plated armor. We have antimatter reactor. Um, the universal here pretty much means you can put any module on. So I'm going to use the uh, quantum sensor. Um, one thing to actually point out here 
for a build like this, I wouldn't use a quantum sense. I think I would rather use antimatter reactor or a cannibal reactor would be the other choice, but I definitely would not uh, use uh, this. Or another one you could also use is actually Selfix. So quantum sensor is more a module you would use with something like cataclysm or cyclone weapons because you need to lock onto targets. Um, I wouldn't use it with shotguns. I think it's a waste. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a hanger I've decided on. Let's jump into a game now and uh, let's see how we do with this lineup. Um, it looks like we are going to have company. I'm not sure what this guy's... Oh, shoot. Okay, so we know this guy's in a phantom. I need to uh, try to lock this guy down if I can and burn him up with these flamethrowers. Let's go ahead. Let's do that. So he has been suppressed here. Surprisingly, he's still alive. Where is my teammate? We need to try to burn this guy up quickly before his buddies show up. Let's just do that. There we go. A couple of our players there at center. Oh, there's someone on my left flank here. Okay, so I know this guy is in a uh, shell. Let's try to see if we can burn him up with this. And can I get him? There we go. I need to use my heal here. And let's try to move through center. Oh, jeez. They are actually going to get our home beacon because I saw a nightingale go there. So I'm trying to get uh, this beacon here. Oh, shoot. We have a blitz. <laughs> blitz first blitz, except I'm half dead already. Um, holy crap, man. We're losing all our beacons. What the heck? Uh, let's drop in with the Hades next. Got to deal with this guy here first. Let's try to get rid of him. And this guy, that other guy's going to drop in here soon. Where is he? Oh no, the left side. Guys, left side. Someone needs to drop in quick. Ah, shoot. Wait a minute, we have five. Oh, this guy's got to get onto that beacon quickly, dude. Quick, 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 quick. No. Oh, he got locked. Man, we've been four capped. Well, this ain't good. <laughs> well, you know what? This thing actually, if my teammate gets onto this beacon and we take this guy out... We're going to change it instantly. Um, 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 here we go. Oh, jeez. Got to stop this guy here at least. We get him. Thing is, I don't want to use my phase shift because if I use my phase shift and this guy in front of me dies, then we're going to be in a lot of trouble because this guy could end up actually getting this beacon. Oh, come on. I couldn't redirect to <laughs> the other guy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Holy shoot. We need we need some sort of a tanky bot here. Um, you know what? Let's use the Demeter. Let's use this Demeter. I actually forgot to drop in with my drone. <laughs> I had set up my drone. I misclicked. That's going to make things a bit interesting here. Let's just put up the shield. I think I was able to heal that guy up. Uh-oh. 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 There we go. He can go get that beacon. I need to move back here. This guy's going to go for this beacon. We can't let him get this beacon. Uh-oh. 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 No. Ooh. We're trying to get... Oh, shoot. I teleported into center. Well, you know what? At least I can heal up my uh, teammates. Okay, so we have this. Oh man, this guy's got shield breaker too. That's not what I wanted to see. Wait, are you serious? Wait, we've only got one beacon? Really? Which beacon is that? <laughs> oh man. Holy crap. No. Oh. They got a home beacon again. How? Oh shoot. We lost the other beacon too. Um... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna work away at this uh, Arthur here so we can take this guy out. Come on, guys. There we go. We should be able to get that at least, I think. Let's try to get this guy. Um, we took out this Titan. 
Uh oh, hold on, hold on a second. I don't want to go that way. They've got a uh, Nodens back there. Do we have? We don't even have the center here. Oh shoot! Can't go that side. Ouch! <laughs> now being suppressed. Let's try to get this guy. Now we need to try to actually get into center. Oh man, he's gonna get totally roasted up here. Let's hit this guy. I think if I can get this beacon, even if I just change it briefly, it's going to be enough. Because then I can at least drop in here. I'm trying to get this guy. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Can I get him down to his last stand? Last stand, last stand, last... Yes! I got him down to his last stand. And it looks like we're going to get their home beacon. Okay, so things aren't looking too bad here. We could make a game out of this. Um, let's see. What? I think they have... What is this guy in? Take this guy out. Try to death mark that guy just in case. If I can weaken his... Uh... This guy's going to move that side. I, I actually need to get into the center here because we need to get another beacon. So I'm going to death mark this guy to help my teammates. We can get rid of him. Let's get this side. Um, oh shoot. There's this one here too. I'm gonna do this just so that I can... My overdrives have triggered though. So we should be able to get rid of that guy and this guy here too. And... So one reason why I put actually the rockets on here is because it's really good against bots that have physical shields. Such as this guy here. I'm gonna death mark him as my uh, last resort there. And we are now down to our nodents. So let's do that. I'm trying to uh, heal this other guy up here. Oh shoot. Got the uh, wrong guy there. Did I heal him? I, um, are we? Yeah, we did. Okay, now I'm hoping that they don't drop in with like an Arth or something here because... Um, that could be uh, a really bad thing. That guy's going for that beacon, guys. Trying to fire in that direction so they can see where I'm firing at. We need to get another beacon quick. I think I'm trying... Am I healing up that other guy on the other side? I'm trying to... Oh wait, he was out of range. That should do it. Hold on. Am I getting him? There we go. I'm gonna move on over to uh, this end. Just in case. Can we get him? We need someone to go into the center here to get that uh, beacon. Someone getting that beacon? I can't get into center. I'm in a nodens. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, we need to get this side. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're gonna get that. Um, I think... Yeah, there we go. Someone's in center now. Perfect. Come on, drop in with a titan right over here. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna save my suppression just in case he does have a titan. Because if he drops in here with like an Arthur, I can at least suppress him. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Man. Okay, so let's take a look to see how we did here in this game. And uh, we ended up doing... 5.7 million damage. 9 kills, 5 beacons. And this is how we stacked up in terms of the teams. And here are the honor points for the game. And there you go. So thank you very much to Chicken and to Baka for your dream hangers. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay of them. And once again to everyone else. If you would like a chance to be featured in a future dream hangers video. Make sure to post your dream hangers in the comment section down below. And in a short bit. You guys will be able to see the other 78 episodes of this dream hanger series. I'm going to post the playlist Make sure to check it out. We've had some really exciting and fun games. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.